I am witnessing and I am experiencing the single greatest miracle that can happen in a church. And that's transformation. I have been the pastor here at Cassieview for the last two years, and I'm still a little shocked about that. I have been in professional ministry for over a decade, and I have been connected to the institutional church my entire life. And two years ago, I was in this place where I was completely convinced that the church, particularly dying or declining churches, which is most in America, did not have the ability nor the capacity to transform. I was so sick of watching the church love their buildings and their worship styles and what used to be more than bringing the love and the power of God to the community around it. And so I honestly thought that my time in pastoral ministry was over. And then God called me here. This church has changed a lot over the last couple of years. The most significant change is the direction to which our caring has been made. We cared about each other, and we cared about our community, and we cared about the people that we look to take care of. But our caring now is the things and the people in the community that really need it. One of the first questions that I asked the Cassidy leadership was, what is your kingdom goal? And what do you really want to do as a church? And I was expecting the typical answer, we want to, we want to increase worship attendance. We want to reestablish um, the giving that was in the 1970s. But instead, uh, they said to me, you know, we just want to become meaningful in the community and we don't care if we put one more butt in the seat on Sunday morning. The focus at Cassaview has transitioned to invite, invite, invite to how can we serve the community. And in that process, we are telling God's story. We are sharing God's love. The impact that Cassaview is having on this community is is beyond words. I believe that the, the church's mission is mission, and so that everything that we do is missional, and everything we do should be missional. We have to reach people where they are today, and to reach people where they are, you need to be able to serve and to meet the needs of the community. People today are looking for an opportunity to serve. If you're uh, looking to get people to fill seats in an auditorium, it's just not gonna be successful, but if you're looking to give people a place where they can serve God, and serve others, then I think that you don't ever have a problem getting them involved in, in that kind of work. Somewhere between the six and the nine month mark, I, I knew um, that this church was transforming. Three to six months after starting our time together, we launched four new mission initiatives. There was a little, little bit of angst uh, leading up to that, like, why don't we just start one? And that I just came along and said, why wait? Let's start, let's just do it. And we started those mission initiatives and started seeing some real success, some real engagement from the community. And in that time, we did a renovation project and we were transforming not just the mission, but really every nook and cranny of the church. Uh, there's been a spirit here as, as we've touched lives. That spirit that we were trying to kindle has grown and uh, uh, it's really exciting. I, I've been energized and I think that uh, strengthened in faith, uh, but I think that really it's, it's innately something that I always believed that that's what we're supposed to do, and I believe that the people here uh, were willing to step out in faith and do some of these things. This congregation has come together and uh, uh, thinks of possibilities instead of uh, uh, pitfalls. We're living in what I would call the greatest miracle that any church can experience, transformation. We are, we are living in this season of awe where we continually look at each other and go, we cannot believe that God has chosen us to do this, that we get to see the glory and the beauty of God, that we get to see hearts changed, that we get to see our own hearts change, uh, that we get to see um, a real difference being made in the community.